For years, Yeti microphones have remained an essential fixture in the lineup of streaming microphones, and now the new generation is here with the Logitech G Yeti Orb and Yeti GX. The Yeti Orb is your intro condenser mic at $59.99 USD, and the Yeti GX, designed as the ultimate dynamic microphone for gamers and streamers, is $149.99. Here's what you get inside the box. Included with the Yeti GX is a Streamlabs Ultra free trial, which you can jump online to redeem. You also have your standard warranty information. The Yeti GX takes a USB-A to USB-C cable connection. Also included in the box is the mic arm and tripod adapter. Of course, you have the Yeti GX mic body itself. And finally, the base plate for use as a desk standing mount. Let's talk about setting up this mic because Logitech have really made it so easy to just open up the box, plug in this mic and you're good to go. This is a dynamic microphone and if you've been in the market for a dynamic mic, you'll know that most of them require an XLR output. For streamers and gamers who are trying to up the quality of their setup, this would mean investing in adapters and mixers to be able to upgrade. The Yeti GX, however, connects via USB-C, so there's no additional purchases required. One great addition to the box is the inclusion of the mic adapter. Most streamers will be using a mic arm to avoid picking up keyboard and mouse sounds. With previous mics, I've had to buy whole adapter sets to be able to fit my mic to my mic arm, but the Yeti GX is a one-stop shop with a no additional purchases required zone, thanks to the inbox adapter and the USB-C connection. The mic itself is mostly made of plastics, and if we remove the foam, you do have a solid metal mesh underneath. The plastic build makes the mic super lightweight, coming in at 616 grams, including the stand. Let's take a closer look at the Yeti GX. On the front, you have the Logitech G RGB logo, as well as an array of RGBs on the base. On the back, you have a gain control scroll wheel. And if this scroll wheel seems high quality, that's because Logitech took the scroll wheel from the G403 and added it to the Yeti GX, giving it wheel click compatibility for smart audio locking. They took not reinventing the wheel very seriously. And of course, you have your mute button underneath. The RGB in the scroll wheel is used as an indicator light. White means you're powered on. Solid green means the mic is actively delivering audio. Solid blue means the audio locking is active and any accidental scrolling won't change your gain. Flashing red means the gain level is too high and you're experiencing clipping or distortion. And solid red means you're on mute. Now we're in the Logitech G Hub and this is what you are greeted with when you first connect your Yeti GX. This is the little rundown that introduces you to the mic and all its features. A little info about what a dynamic gaming microphone is and what it does. How the manual gain control and the smart audio lock work, which we've already covered, which I think is great. And then you have the blue voice audio, which you will have to enable the first time. So make sure you tick enable blue voice audio and then select the one that you think sounds the best. You'll have to do a little recording and playback to see which one. Please take note that they have settings for whether your mic is on the boom arm or on a desk. I have my mic on a boom arm and that means the mic is closer to your mouth, further away from keyboard and mouse sounds and any noises on your desk. Whereas if you were sitting on the desk stand, you'd probably be further away from your mouth, but closer to desk. So settings need to be adjusted for that. And then of course you have your RGB settings and I'll get into each one of these settings in a little bit, but I was actually surprised at first how many options there are for the mic and then let's party. We're good to go. From the main dashboard here, this is where you can really clean up the mic sound and get all the settings just right for your voice. So let's do a little comparison. I'm going to turn the blue voice off and give you what the mic sounds like without any additional settings whatsoever. Blue voice is off and this is what the mic sounds like out of the box. I actually did my first stream with this mic straight out of the box with no additional settings, no blue voice, no nothing. And I think it still ended up great. I ended up posting shorts and TikToks edited from that stream onto my social media. And if you don't want to mess with the settings of the mic when you get it, you absolutely don't have to. But I definitely recommend using at least one of the blue voice presets because it can just take the sound of the mic to the next level. Enable this back. So I'll just go through and show you the differences in the presets and you'll see these settings jump brown. I used the boom arm broadcaster preset as the base for my mic and then made some adjustments from there to make a custom preset. If you watch these settings you'll see things jump around and see how it's different. So with the boom arm broadcaster you can see that I've had to adjust a bunch of the EQ just to get it to sit well with my voice. I feel like my voice is slightly on the higher side than average and also more nasally. That's what I find anyway. Let me know what you think my voice sounds like. Then we have a boom arm classic which I feel like doesn't sound two different and we have the boom arm bass lifted and then we have the boom arm natural 
So even in the boom arm setting, you have so many options within that setting. And then we go to desk. And this is if you're using the desk stand, it's going to be like a different environment for the mic if it's sitting on your desk. So we need some different settings. This is the desk broadcaster. And then we kind of have the same options as the boom arm. We've got the desk classic, a desk with bass boosted and the desk natural. I feel like it's always hard when you're listening to your own voice. So it might take a little bit of trial and error to get the absolute perfect settings for you. The other thing that you can try out is browse in the community settings. And this is amazing because you can have someone else do it for you. This clean streaming voice already has 3K downloads. You also have over here a library of effects that can change your voice to just some crazy options if you want to have a play around. This is now the sinister voice. Witness protection. I don't know what that means, but that is a witness protection as an option. And now we can take a look at the RGBs and let me just show you how many RGBs there are in this mic. You have the logo of course, but then this is what the base is and these are all the individual RGB points that you can set that make up the lights in this entire ring at the bottom of the mic. So you can freestyle, which is what you are seeing here on the mic. The logo is red and these colors are making up the base. They all kind of like blend into the bottom here. So you can individually set any one of these points from the left over here. You can also quickly paint on colors like this using this paint selection mode. You just pick a color you want drag it over the points that you want to be that color you can also use the quick group so if i select a paint color let's go with this purple and then i hit center the center ones are purple but you also have the presets if you don't want to go to that effort i like to use the color wave the color wave is fun breathing these are all options that you have on other logitech devices if you have a logitech keyboard mouse headset with rgbs you'll be familiar with these rgb effects because they're all part of those products as well you have a color cycle kind of similar to the color wave but it's going through one color at a time you have the pulsar point and this is where you can sync lighting options to your other devices as you can see i have other logitech devices that i can sync the mic rgbs to green Zebler is one of my all-time favorites i love having this set up when i'm streaming what this is essentially doing is looking at points on your monitor and grabbing the colors and applying them to the mic if i move this window on my monitor my desktop is pink so you should see the color change in my mic as I do this. Boom, look, it's picking up the colors. This setting is really fun when you're playing games, when you're streaming because things are changing on your screen so much as you turn around in game and the colors change as you move. You can also change these locations. I like to do this because it feels more natural to the mic, logo in the center, and then all the bottom colors along the bottom. You can do whatever you want. You can pull from any point. And then you also have some cool animations that you can play around with. And there you have it. That's how the Yeti GX sits perfectly well as a family inside the Logitech G Hub. I've been using this mic for a couple of weeks now and I've really liked the output that I'm getting for both streaming and recording. I want to say a really big thank you to Logitech for sending this mic out to me to check out. If you want to grab the Yeti GX for yourself or you just want to learn more, you can follow the links in the description. And don't forget to use code Elidi at checkout for 10% off all your Logitech G needs. Let me know what you think about the new additions to the Yeti lineup and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.